James, how are you doing? This is V Dunn and Ruff. How's your day going today? Long time no chat. Long time no nothing. Sorry, uh, I have been very absent. Um, numerous reasons. I'll go through those. I'll have a bit of a chat about it. Um, I'm still got a few things happening. But what I will do is right now, I am working on bird, 10 houses and a small tree from Diamond Shop, the artist collection. Um, picture inserted here where I'm at. This is the actual image itself. And uh, yep, yeah, Diamond Shop, round 59 by 45. And this it was their latest well, their last, it's not their latest, but their last um, artist, who is Carla Gerard. Now, I did receive an email from Diamond Shop last night to say they have a new artist, Victor Nizov, said, oh, please, N-I-Z-O-V-T-S-E-V, -E -V. available 10th of May, well basically it's available now. He's a Russian born traditional painter who creates vibrant fantasy images that transport the audience to a surreal magical world. I'll pop some images up here so that you can have a look at them. They do have the offers for those yet again so they'll be on the screen. Remember if you purchase anything from Dime Moon Shop and what to put towards my channel. Remember in the coupon section, put diamond in the rough. Um, that will put you through towards, that tends to put you through towards any competitions running, if you purchase from latest stuff that's happening. And then obviously, um, it then also gives me some recognition for what you've, uh, what you purchased. So um, yeah, have a look at these images. Um, this is just a quick update to let you know about um, what you're seeing of the new artist. It's just been released. Let me tell you, there is one there that I so want, which is the Sleeping Blonde Mermaid. Oh yeah, yeah, trouble, 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 diamond shop. Anyway, lack of uh, videos, I have put it. I mean, enjoy a coffee while I have a chat. I hit a wall. Couldn't work out what it was. I thought, mm, maybe I'm going through some depression. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. And yeah, I still don't think I have fully identified what is going on. However, I have just been away um, and while I was away, I started actually, that's the first time, actually thinking about what I want to bring to the channel. So um, up until I suppose about four days ago, five days ago maybe, it was like getting to and recording was just... Although I could record the, the editing side of things, I just, I couldn't sit down and do. I could sit down and diamond paint, but I just couldn't sit down and edit. Um, and I just couldn't work out why. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change the channel slightly. Well, shouldn't say slightly. There'll be a few changes happening and hopefully you enjoy them. Um, one of the things that I have started struggling with is actually not necessarily the weekly chats, but the ch any uh, chats and the, the way that my videos have ended up going. Because when I do stuff like the resin work, I found that I was not waffling, but I was just talking too much. Um, so I've just been trying to work out, and that's one thing that, you know, when I'm been trying to edit videos and put them together like the resin work, I'm chatting and waffling on and I'm looking at it going, what has this got to do with what I'm showing you? So 
I am going to change the style of doing um, the work that I work on. So when I work on resin pieces, I plan to do uh, an introduction and to say what I'm doing and the plan will be to show you the end result at the beginning so then if you want to follow the process you can. Um, and in doing that I will go through the process but there will be no talking. I will just get do I will just actually enjoy the process of the resin instead of having to explain bits and pieces. I'll put comments on the screen or I'll put text on the screen. Uh, so that then you know it's it's done that way the other side of that it then gives me the ability to actually not have to worry about anybody at home because if somebody's at home normally I've got to try and wait for a quiet time or wait for somebody to not be at home and now that Dion's here <laughs> um, it's getting harder to find time to work uh, to be able to do um, YouTube uh, recordings and uh, chat along without uh, interruptions. Uh, right now, today, today is Tuesday, no, not Tuesday, today is Monday the 10th of May. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and to even to all the mothers that have fur babies. Um, so yeah, so today is one of the rare days where both Nathan and Dion are out of the house. It is Monday, so Dion is at uni, Nathan is at work. And I am actually on leave. <laughs> so I'll go cover that shortly as well. Uh, I'm not due back at, at work until Monday week, so I have a week before I'm due back at work, which is pretty cool. Okay, so there's so the change will be you will get me talking at the beginning to show you the process, to let show you the finished piece of work. And then, um, yeah, I'll just play music through while I work through the pieces. So today I did the Kingdom of Hearts box. Uh, I've done the two part, oh sorry, I've done the UV resin, that's all set and done. What I've got to do is just finish the two part epoxy, which is currently setting. So I filmed quite a lot today and looking forward to actually editing that one with no um, voiceover okay with 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 no talking <laughs> ah, so yeah so I feel so much better about that it's just I'm just trying to work it out um and one of the things is this my channel slightly wouldn't say slightly different uh, my channel I don't bring drama and what I mean by that, I don't talk about, I don't know how to put it. I don't even want to bring it into here. But I will say that, you know, every now and then I see posts on the diamond painting community where people are complaining about um, how this should be a really good community, um, you know, but there's nastiness going on and all that. Uh, my channel, I do believe my channel has not grown, although it's grown, and I, you know, I've and I've just taken a little bit of a break. Although it has been growing ever so slowly, I have never gotten there and bitched and complained about other YouTube creators. I've never put drama in my title. I've never put rant in my title because this channel um, it's the best way to, uh, this channel is more about sharing and enjoying an enjoy enjoyable process I know when I first started I used to get so frustrated where I watch some channels where there was just bitching going on and I don't know it just it got me uptight so you know and I know it gets so many people uptight but then you see one video and it's their titled rant so you watch it and then it leads to you following who they're ranting going and finding who they're ranting about and then backwards and forwards and you end up yourself buying into the drama and getting angry because 
either one side or the other. You were on, on either one side or the other of whoever the channels belong to. Um, and you just, I don't know, you just, it, it riles yourself up and then you stop enjoying. Well, I don't say enjoying, you still enjoy it because you enjoy the drama, but you, you get brought into it, which then actually makes it a bit harder for you to keep calm. So one of the things we do with Diamond Painting, it's a relaxing thing. But you get there and you watch whipping chats where people are complaining about other channels or other people um, and all of that. And yeah, I just... Yeah, I think, I think for those of you that have watched and been part of the diamond painting community for a while, you, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm tried to not buy in. I did find I struggled with one creator. Uh, that creator I wrote an email to. Um, and then that was it. I never spoke with that creator again. Uh, I never watched her channel again. And I will say that's where I think was really good for me was, you know, I know that they voiced it because I got an email back. So, you know, but my, I turned around and I emailed this creator and turned around and said, out of respect for you and your channel and not wanting to add any extra drama, and I just voiced all my opinions on, on how I felt. And then, um, which I believe did upset her. Um, but at least it was, I will say, it was done not in a public forum. So I didn't drag anybody else into this uh, email. You know, so how I felt about this one channel, I just, I didn't buy into, I, you know, I let them know, I read their email back, but I wasn't going to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, so I didn't respond and I just left it there. Done, dusted, um, and I did watch the video, I did actually watch the, sorry, I did actually watch recording where this channel talked about me contacting them. And they also respected the fact that I didn't air my grievances on YouTube, um, which was really good, really good, because it just didn't add to any drama. I didn't want any extra attention to myself, but when you see somebody that gets, without being rude, high and mighty and, believe, uh, and giving the impression that they were they were the bee's knees and could tell everybody else what to do with their channel um, yeah I'll leave that there anyway so but in that you know I watched the video where she talked about it and that was that I left the channel never watched again um, so yeah that's where I haven't brought drama and that's where I'm coming to now I'm talking about is I was starting to bring stuff to the channel that I shouldn't have been bringing to the channel. Um, I was talking about situations at work, uh, which I come back and look at. <laughs> yeah, some of the things that I have talked about on this channel where I've re referred to where I work, although most people don't know where I work, you know what I do, but not where. Um, I mean, you're all over the world, the, re the relevance to my job to where you guys are, you know, is, is, is pretty well moot. But um, I stopped and looked at some of the things that I was saying on the channel and gone, shoot, I could actually lose my job on some, some of the things that I may have said. Um, so that was another thing that was on my mind. Um, you know, I, yeah. If you've seen any of the channels where I've been, any of the show, any of the videos where I've complained about <laughs> my job yeah you'll probably understand where I'm coming from um so yeah with that being said you know I have my personal life which I'm happy to share I need to keep out of the work life and I won't 
criticise other YouTube channels because I don't want to bring the drama. This is a, a, an enjoyable, relaxing hobby. But what I will plan to do, I'll see how it goes. One of the things you have seen is some subscription boxes. So obviously the Sophie and Toffee subscription boxes, which I have a lot of fun with uh, and I've found other people enjoy. I'm looking at bringing some other subscription boxes. So um, the subscription boxes though, I will be looking at trying to find craft subscription boxes. So it's still crafty. Um, so keep an eye out for those. You know, I have tried to bring other things to the channel. I brought the planner to the channel. Oh my God, which is so much fun. I still, I still love my planner, but uh, I just don't show it. I brought the budget in and then thought, oh heck, I shouldn't be showing my finances. Yeah, you know, all of that kind of thing. You, I get there and think there's stuff that I just I overshared, and. I think that was what got to me was just the oversharing of stuff so um yeah i still will share parts of my life because i mean the things we all do i love hearing about what other people do in their lives because we all live in different parts of the world i mean at the moment it's autumn here whereas the us it's spring you know it, it's always interesting to see the, what's happening in, around the world so um so yeah so i still will do whip and chats uh, but i just will need to stick to um safe topics is probably the best way to put it um but yeah okay so craft subscription box that's what i'm looking at doing because you know i've already got Sophie and Toffee, the UV resin, the resin box, plus their Disney box. So one is every month, one is every three months. I do have the Smart Ass and Sass box, not crafty, but <laughs> it's a bit sassy, it's really good. Um, so there's that box that is uh, that I do. So there's another couple of boxes. Now, one of the things that I have done before, I've turned around on my channel gone, oh, this is what I'm looking at bringing to you. Um, and then before I just as a thought of this is what I what I'm thinking about doing and then suddenly I'm finding other channels that I watch already doing it you know although I've taken months to organize to do it by the time I get around to doing it it's suddenly there's other people are doing it so um, all I can say is there will be some craft subscription box and i'll bring to the channel slightly different um we'll see how we go um i will like to point out gb maltese grace she showed one hell of a handy trick to do with creating your own stoppers which is the grippies when you cut a piece off put it in there and it plugs it up gb maltese grace thank you very much for that one <laughs> Um, <laughs> just a little tip that if you haven't seen it, it's brilliant. Um, Bo's huffing around the place. So what have I been doing on the personal side of things? So we're still planning, we're getting the planning of the our trip away. So we've got a big trip going north of uh, Western Australia. Um, got a lot of that getting sorted um, we have one and a half months and we are off I think it works it actually works out six weeks I think and then we are off which is pretty cool um, so yeah we've a lot of time we've been going through dealing with uh, do, dealing with just trying to get this trip organised. We've got another planning session this Sunday night. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we've got another planning session Sunday night. Uh, yeah, so we're just getting through it, getting through it. Uh, yeah. 
Mm. It will be nice to have time away from work, solid time. Um, I just like a, right now I'm on leave, um, so we'll talk about why I'm on leave uh, in a sec. Um, but yeah, so we're setting up slowly. We're building up our stock of what we need to take with us. Uh, we've we've changed tents. We now have a new tent. Um, I'm still trying to convince Nathan of seeing things that would make it better but he's like going we don't need it <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, I have had a win on one thing whereby we have a I brought a double on suite because we have a porta potty and a shower right so but I managed to buy a, a double on suite which is really good really good um, I love it takes a little bit more time to set it up Nathan actually has a shower thing set up and attached to the vehicle and it is it's really quick uh, however when we go away we will be there'll be a few places where we stop for three days uh, and I don't want to keep having to pack away the shower pack away the toilet every time we move the vehicle so uh, it'll be nice to you know anyway so yeah so that's happening um, got the website updating uh, if you really are interested there is the members only section just uh, create an account and um, I will approve in that members only section is images unowned by me therefore it is why it is members only um, it's stuff that I just don't want to share because they're not my images I don't want to get done in any way for copyright however when we travel and I manage to get to update the website where we've been will be will have my pictures um, drone footage all of that will be on that website and links to the YouTube channel where the videos will be stored okay so leave that I've just been on or that I am currently on because my crew is on I should be doing night shift tonight and tomorrow night so I should have had Friday Saturday Sunday day shift Monday Tuesday night shift but instead I have leave I went down to Esperance to celebrate my son's birthday and my up-and-coming grandson's birthday so because I am going away on I'm taking leave at the end of June I'm taking about eight weeks leave we're only going away for four <laughs> I might hand some of that leave back we'll see um, but because we're going away at, at the end of June instead of um, the, my son and his wife actually turned around and went well because you're going away we'll bring the, the birthday we'll bring V's birthday party earlier so that then um, you can celebrate it and then, uh, you know, without any issues because they know when I try and get leave sometimes it's very hard uh, but yeah so went down to Esperance and stayed with family Oh, what a fun time that was in some stages so <laughs> for V's birthday and my son's birthday I got them a joint present I actually got a toy a ride-on Lamborghini so <laughs> the ride-on Lamborghini it can be controlled by the child however it has a remote control for the parent so my son got the remote control and my grandson <laughs> got the car so I'll just try and slot a little bit of image in, in, in here somewhere for you to check out so yeah we drove to Esperance I went down with my my youngest boy who lives here now now he's moved back home um, we drove down 
Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Um, and came back yesterday, Sunday. So we had. Um, so when we got to got to Esperance, we dropped in and visited them first before going to my mum's place. Got baby cuddles at the beginning. <laughs> um, however, oh yeah, however we are wearing masks, so I'll go through that one, shall I? Um, but we're wearing masks when we went down. So uh, we are, we were at situation with COVID where we were actually man having mandatory masks for anyone that lived in the Perth and Pitt regions. If you went anywhere outside of those areas, so you, if you were in those areas, you had to wear masks, and if you travelled out of those areas, you had to wear masks. So um, it was always a case of <laughs> spot the vi you could tell who the visitors were because we were all wearing masks. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so yeah, we we did that. We visited, got baby cuddles. Shouldn't say baby. Well, he is still a baby. He's not one yet. Uh, got the baby cuddles and then went to my folks' place. Uh, yeah, well, we. Um, yeah, so we went to the folks' place, said hello, did all of that. You know the usual things that you do when you arrive. Then uh, one of the things I had organised was for V's birthday his present to actually be sent to my mum's place and that actually had to be put together so you know, there's a little bit of building required so we put that together it was really really good that we did because the the battery needed 12 hours charging for the first time so we built it put it together uh, had it charging up and by the time we had it charging up we would be back to my son's place about 13 hours after we put that put the car on the charger so we did well we got it done in time so yeah um everybody in the family is doing well down there which is a good thing um so yeah so yeah we first full day there in the morning um, so they're really strict with his bedtimes, which is really good to see. Um, but you know, he's if you visit, uh, he goes to bed at nine, up and then he's up again at a, and then out of bed at eleven. So you know the times when you can visit and get baby cuddles. <laughs> um, but life does evolve around him, but they, yeah, they're doing it the right way. It's really good. It was good. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, we went round first on the mor the fir our first morning and delivered the birthday present, which, oh my God, footage here <laughs> uh, without sound because there's just so much laughter and giggling going on but uh, my son is controlling the remote and Bub is just sitting in the car and it's just he's doing it like he's driving it like a boss <laughs> it's so gorgeous to see it done see him in it uh, definitely a good choice of present for the pair of them so So yeah, my, my son is actually still yet to get his driver's license, so he's going to be sitting his test soonish. I think very soon. I think it was supposed to be this week sometime anyway. Excuse me, another sip of coffee. And so we went there, um, then came back to my folks' place. Had a lot of fun there and then went back to my folks place so it was just basically we we're going between the two places the weather was miserable so the trip down to esperance was it rained oh, it rained so much my son has never driven any long distances 
he offered to do some driving. Um, I was we were going to get him. I was going to get him to drive at a certain point, and I turned around and said, "Do you want to drive, or do you want to not drive?" Because you know he's not done long distance driving, and it was a problem down with rain, and he wasn't comfortable. So he's like, "No, I won't drive yet." Yeah, you know, which was good. Uh, Yeah, so, but yeah, the weather was miserable down there for a couple of days. And then going backwards and forwards visiting, but we also ended up with a day where it was beautiful. Now, I've done it, showed some footage before of this beach, but I did a little bit of footage, Salmon Beach. Um, it's a, a spectacular beach, but it's just. A beach where generally there, there isn't many people which is why I use that I, I got why I've gone to that beach because there's just you know you shouldn't be flying drones around people there's regularly there is restrictions of 30 meters away from other people righty righty right so um, yeah by taking it to salmon beach there's generally not many people there there was some <laughs> But we just didn't fly it near them. It was all good. So, um, so a little bit of video footage of that. I did get the drone up at the tourist lookout so it just I'll give you a little bit of that here <laughs> It's a pretty little town, absolutely pretty little town. <sighs> and then I think there was one other day that we got out, I got out with a drone, and that was um, Castletown Keys, the Castletown Jetty, which I had a lot of fun with. Um, I haven't flown the drone much, I need to get confidence up with it but I just don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> when I nearly lost the drone on, on a previous time <sighs> yeah I nearly lost the drone once because of that I got a bit nervous about flying it <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah we'll leave that one where it is the so yeah I got some nice little video footage of the Castle Town Jetty, which is just basically, it's the ru it's just the ruins. Now.
There's actually nothing to the jetty itself but the pop sun pylons that are left behind so and then i got this gorgeous shot from overhead that just that i absolutely loved so down in Esperance we had some time there um, we weren't going to come back till Monday um, however it was just Dion was also trying to study for uni uh, he had a tablet to study on and it just wasn't big enough for him to do to work on so because he was not going to worry about going to uni today we we're going to travel back um, but we came back a day early and he's gone to uni and he's now got his big computer with two monitors to be able to study properly with. So he's uh, happy about that. And then obviously today I am filming this just uh, to say hello and give an update. I don't know if you can hear that. Just musical trings in the background. That's my washing machine saying it's finished. Um, so yeah, so what I've got now is just back to feeling motivated and then working out how to go ahead with the channel. I will do, and I, I think I will try to do a whip and chat once a month um, with bits and pieces of what's going on without getting too in depth on some, for some parts. Um, I will also, you know, keep you up to date with some of the projects that I'm working with. So, as I say, I'm going to do craft subscription boxes, but I haven't ordered any. So, it'll be interesting to see what channels come out with some a range of craft subscription boxes. Uh, but yeah, there's yes yeah, some subscription boxes that I'm going to give a go. I'm not artsy, and some of them are more artsy side of things, uh, but we will see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't expect to, I might be doing, I'm, I will see how I go. I'll be ordering subscription boxes um, this week. Yeah, so I'll be organising a subscription box this week, uh, but who knows when they will arrive. So that's where, if a box arrives, I will open it up. If not, um, it will just have to happen after I get back from uh, our holidays. So, 
Um, what else? Now, I do have a Facebook group, Diamond in the Rough, or Diamonds in the Rough Facebook group, that I've got a few people that look there in. I'm actually going to be closing that group. Um, I, I don't look at it very often, and I, I'm not active in it, and you know, other people, when, we, when it first started, people were active in it, but you know, because just, yeah, it's died. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So I'm going to actually close that group up in the next month. Um, most people are just, a lot of people that are subscribers that I've been chatting with that I'm, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I won't waffle onto that, but yeah, I'll be closing the YouTube, not YouTube, be closing the Facebook page. Um, in the next couple of weeks when I work out how to do it. Um, so yeah, that's where we stand there. Uh, so th between in the next five weeks, you might get some videos. Um, and I've still got some reviews that I've done of, of diamond paintings that I've completed that I just haven't I haven't put the video, I haven't edited the video, but I am now back to ready to edit. Um, there we go. And I just might change the voice, so change from me talking to just providing a voiceover. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, we're 40 minutes we can chat. It's not too long, not too short. Um, I think I will leave that there. Uh, I think I want to all have to do is just on the community group, community page, I'll just put some information when I'm going to do stuff. When I've got myself organised, I will actually get there and blank moment. Hang on, that's only because I'm looking for my next colour. Um, yeah, so we'll, I'll, when I've worked out what's happening with, when I come back to filming, um, well, I shouldn't say back to filming, but when I come back to the channel and I start working on the channel properly like I used to, um, you'll see it on the community group to say, hey, I'm back. Uh, but that will be... Highly likely not until August that you'll see something properly back. So that's, you know, it's my, you know, you will see some videos between now and then. But it is just a case that there won't be that many. Um, so please, please bear with me. I do have plans for, obviously, the subscription boxes that I plan to go ahead with. Um, and getting them organised. It's going to be all about waiting for them to arrive to see whether I get any of them out before we go away. Um, but I mean, we do have. No, I've still got other things coming and other things to do. Um, but yeah. So I will say, you know, thank you for sticking with me. And if you listen to this to the uh, right to the to to this point anyway, I will say thank you. Um, I will say when you stop, when you slow down on YouTube, you don't realise until you slow down how hard it is to get back into full steam. When you look at how many videos I used to produce um, to what I do, what I've been like lately. Um, you know, I was, I think initially when I, when I, I, I suppose it was a bit of a burnout. Initially I felt guilty because I wasn't putting videos out. So I was trying to put videos out and I just couldn't get motivated. Um, so trying to get back into it was really hard because I just, I felt so guilty, but I just couldn't. It's so it's so hard to explain, but.
But for those that have had those of you that have a YouTube channel and you've stopped getting back into recording and editing and all of that, you just it's kind of daunting. And I got there, you know, when I you know, when I finally accepted and went, well that's just it. I'm just not ready to come back fully. Um, and I started going, well, I started relaxing about it. And that's what happened while I was away. I started relaxing about the channel and then it was like, okay, this is what I can do. This is what I will do. This is, you know, I've analyzed, I've, you know, it's gone around in my head. Um, but while I was away, it was the first time that was like, I'm ready to get back into it. Um, but I don't want to just sit and dine and paint. I don't want to just do whip and chats. Um, I will say most of my channel with my dine and paintings, they're dine moon shots, which is um, amazing. You know, their quality, their service, all of that is fantastic. You know, I've got Create Love Share, um, who, Chuck Pinson, if you're interested, Create Love Share, use my link below. Um, I've put some some out, so get to them while you can. I haven't looked yet, <laughs> but I got the email. While, I got notified while I was away. Um, but yeah, I I couldn't justify keeping on buying diamond paintings <laughs> and just diamond painting. Um, the resin has been fun, and you know that's a project a month to do, which is really good. And that's what I want to be able to bring to you is just doing a project of something that I'm trying that maybe you might like to try. Um, you never know what you can do until you do it, or at least you try. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was so it was so interesting to get there, and I looked at it. I was feeling guilty, but how do you put? I'm trying to work out how to put it. I struggled with. When I stopped and stopped felt feeling guilty of just giving, and I had the giving up point, I stopped and went, how did I manage to film so many videos? How did I manage to keep on top of it? And I still don't know how I managed to. Um, when I look at the hours that I work, um, yeah, the hours that I work, uh, and then it's like, well, hang on. I need to slow down. Legitimately, I need to slow down. I can't, couldn't keep that pace up. So I thought, yeah, I'll slow down. And then I slowed down so much that I stopped and just struggled to get back on, on top of things. But this is not, uh, and this is where I need to remind myself is, I don't just have the YouTube channel. Um, you know, I have a, a full-time job and for those of you creators that are out there that have full-term jobs and are creating, it's hat goes off to you because, you know, I'm doing the same thing. I understand exactly where how hard it can be. Um, I'm trying to juggle everything in life when you've got, you know, a house and a family you've got to work and then your YouTube channel you know it's it is a lot of work um, so yeah um, but I was look I stopped and I looked and went how the how did I manage to keep pumping out all those videos I was yeah yeah so anyway that was where <laughs> That was that's where we're at so keep an eye out I will throw the odd video out and then once we are back from our big trip um, sorry message come through once we get back from a big trip we'll um, you will see more videos and some interesting subscription boxes so I found some we'll see how we go um yeah oh look i missed an eye so i'm gonna leave it there 
I will say thank you for uh, joining me. And uh, I will uh, talk to you soon.